So, ladies and gentlemen, I may have just made the best tracking sheet in the world. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's the only one I've ever seen that has automation built into it and AI. So, this is going to blow your mind. I'm going to give you a quick overview of this right now. And I'm actually going to give you this for free, no strings attached, if you keep watching the video. So, let me just show you how powerful this is. This is one of three. And this is a follow-up tracking sheet that my setters use right now. And it's working like an absolute charm. And it's a bit of a secret. So I shouldn't be sharing this. But if we show you how this works, whenever my setter puts a link into this name. So let's just say my setter is having a conversation with a lead. They show interest in my offer. They put the URL in this section right here. And then that automatically starts a workflow to be able to generate a personalized voice note using my voice of their actual profile and this is going to as i said blow your mind so if i show you how this works let's just say my setter put in my instagram into this part because i've shown interest in uh, i don't know let's just say my school community so if we run this you can see that it's essentially watching new rows in google sheets so it's watched the fact that there's a link here in this part it has um we've made perplexity which is a competitor to chat gpt actually do live research on the link uh, my setters uploaded it's then gone onto 11 labs and it's actually cloned my voice um it's then created a google uh, drive folder it's uploaded that voice note as a file it's then created a share link and then it's uploaded it to google sheets right so you can see right here it's now created a unique follow-up so if we actually click on this so what my setter will do is he will go onto instagram all he has to do is just hold down all you have to do is hold down the voice note section and let this play so if you listen to this hey charlie noticed you're a business coach and fitness enthusiast and i love to connect with like-minded entrepreneurs would love to help you scale your business at my free workshop this weekend let me know if you're down for it if we go into my instagram you can see that this completely removes me from the process if we go into here and we listen to this hey charlie Noticed you're a business coach and fitness enthusiast, and I love to connect with like-minded entrepreneurs. Would love to help you scale your business at my free workshop this weekend. Let me know if you're down for it. Do you see how crazy that is? <laughs> and it does it every single time you put a new link. I'm not even exaggerating. I can get any one of these prospects who's shown interest in my offer, put their URL right here, and then it's automatically going to create a new link just like this that my setter can just do a voice note with personalized it's actually done research on their profile mind-blowing so let me show you how this works now very quickly i'll put this tracking sheet in the uh, first link in the description so you can actually get it for free but keep watching because i want to show you how this works and this is just like the beginning of it because you're gonna once again we're gonna take it up a level in a second so we essentially have the pipeline here so you can actually once you're inside this google sheet you can change this for whatever you want so the reason we have read for uh, sent a school link or sent a Canonly link is because if we get to this stage of the messaging process, it's like urgent that we have to convert them into a customer or a um, an appointment because they've the, a lead becomes more valuable as they get further down the uh, pipeline towards becoming a client. Right, so you need to increase the amount of follow ups um, you do for this specific. Um, person so for example if someone just shows off in your interest you would do about three follow-ups and obviously we have check boxes that my setter can do to make sure that they've done follow-ups so now let me show you how to actually create this automation to be able to create unique follow-ups every single time so first of all head over to make.com um it is an amazing tool and just get yourself a free account i'm not affiliated it's just completely free right and it's what we use to build automation so once you log in you will be able to create a new scenario at the top right um, so if you head over to scenarios, you can create a new scenario right here. And the first scenario you are going to do is add a Google Sheets. And we can click on Google Sheets. We can then click on watch new rows. And just make sure you connect the right, um, the right Google Drive. Um, for the, you can leave this how it is, search method, leave it, drive, leave it, spreadsheet ID. You want to select the spreadsheet that you want to be operating on. So obviously if you download this from the uh, from the link in the description, if you click on it, um, it's inside my free course, you can just select the one at the bottom. So if we go down here, all the way down, um, you would click on this one, that's what it's called. For the sheet name, that's the part at the bottom. So 
this is what it's referring to right here. So you'd click on the one that we want, which is obviously follow-ups. And you want to limit it to one at a time. Once you've done that, um, you can yeah leave it as it is, or you can choose manually. Then you want to use a tool called Perplexity, and we're going to create a chat completion. And just make sure you add your API key inside Perplexity. So how you do that is you head over to Perplexity, in my opinion, I prefer it over ChatGPT because it can do live research. So for example, whenever we upload a new link in this Google Sheet, it's gonna be able to do research on that link, hence why we can actually include personalization. Um, we can give that to 11 labs to basically have our voice speak about the research that Perplexity has done. But you would go down here to the bottom, click on this button right here, go to API, and you would find your API key. I'm not gonna show you it because I don't want you to use my API key. So if we go back into that, you'd paste that in there. You would select um, this one, so Llama free, you know, Sona, this one. Um, for add item, max tokens, just put this as a thousand. Uh, for messages, we want to write a prompt. So what we would have is this prompt right here. So what we're saying is your job is to do research on this link and summarize his bio on the profile in less than 30 words. So what this is doing is whenever my setter uploads a new link here, it is essentially doing research on this link, which is what uh, we want it to do. So you can make the structure like this. So their name is going to be able to find their niche, their hobby, and then other detail from their profile. So if we just copy this, because obviously I'm building it from scratch, I'm not going to write it out. Um, and you can find this automation in my school community. Feel free to join that and get access to about 15 other um, automations on make go high level and you get a free go high level account just as a side note it's the max 500 a month you get for free basically um, so if we go um, onto here what we want is name and then for the role we can have that as user and then just leave that blank so perfect so now if we um, if we run this so far just to make sure it works you always want to be running your automations and then click save once again you want to be saving it all the time so what this has done so far is if we go to choices, plus one message, you can see that it has um, researched my link on this Google Sheet. So if we go here, you can see that it's got my name, Charlie Barber Biz. It's got my niche, business and marketing, hobby. Obviously, that's just not included on my profile, so it hasn't been able to find a hobby. But it has um, noticed that I focus on entrepreneurship and marketing strategies, which is what, you know, what we do. So next, you're going to add another perplexity. And it's going to be create a chat completion, just like what we did. You can obviously keep this exactly the same. Keep the tokens as a thousand. Um, add item. And what we're going to do now is we are essentially going to, um, if we go back onto this one, we are going to tell Perplexity to write a personalized, unique follow-up message using a very similar format to this. So, hey, name, noticed, X, Y, Z. So that's obviously going to be replaced by the research that we got perplexity to originally. And then it's going to uh, say something like, uh, you know, I would love to connect with like-minded entrepreneurs, um, would love to help you scale. And then you just put your offer right here, right? Um, but obviously you want to tell it to replace the personalization with the actual summary that perplexity has done. So if we copy this and show you how this works, if we copy that in there, we want to go to choices, click on this uh, button right here, go to message, click on that, and then put content. So perfect. Now that is going to know what to replace their name with and their personalized you know, information about their bio. So user, you can just put as user, or sorry, role you can put as user, and then just keep that the same. So that is perfect if we run this, just because, as I said, you should be running your automations all the time. That is perfect. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to go to 11 Labs. So 11 Labs is a voice cloning software. So if we go to 11 Labs, and what you need to do is you may need to add like a dollar or two dollars. I think it's like it's very, very, very cheap. Like maybe a, maybe a couple of dollars um, to get you to clone your voice. Maybe it's in Voices, and you have to add new voice, and then you click on Instant Voice Cloning, and then you can actually upload. A file of you speaking so if you want to put this as like charlie's voice you can actually just record audio so click this and just speak and it will basically replicate your voice 
So once you've done that, you want to get the API key by um, going down to your workspace, profile and API key, and then you want to copy that. And then you want to go here, search for 11 labs, create a speech synthesis is what we're looking for. Then you want to go to voice and you want to select Charlie's voice model you want as let's just do the 11 turbo text so this is what we are going to actually do so we're going to use um i believe uh so we're going to do choices and then the message so this is the personalized first line that we wanted it to um do from our um so this is from our second perplexity so if we just uh go to message just take that um and then click okay so so far this is going really well um and now it's going to create a voice note for you just from simply uploading a link right which is crazy and then it's going to um now we're going to upload it to google drive so we're going to do create a folder so google drive create folder select the google drive you want to upload to um, and then choose a the folder location you can just have this as anything doesn't really matter let's just do like i don't know um raw short form and then you can leave that i don't know if you can leave that blank i think you can yeah perfect um so now you want to actually upload a file so upload a file is on google drive not chat gpt so go down to um i believe let me try and see where it is uh i think we're close get a file upload a file sorry it's upload a file um enter you can leave that folder ID, just select that. And then this is what we're uploading. So the 11 labs create a speech synthesis. So that's obviously the, um, the personalized message or the follow up. Click OK. Um, just see what this means. I think you basically just need to have this maybe. No, I think it should be fine. I don't see why. The, yeah, there we go. It's just a quick bug. So now we just need to get a share link. So get a share link. Um, we want to click on file ID, click on that role. You can have that as just reader. I think, um, obviously we want to have this as anyone and then click, um, okay. So now if we zoom out, what this is doing is whenever we upload a link, it's going to do a summary on that link. So it's going to do research for us, like what we prompted it to. It's then going to write a personalized message for us. It's then going to um, clone our voice to be able to speak that personalized message. And then we are simply creating a folder, uploading this file of, the, of our voice, and then it's going to give us a link. So a public link that we can use. Um, so if we run this, I'm pretty confident this will work. Obviously, I haven't tested it before, but I'm just building it as I go to show you how this works. Um, you can see that it's going very smoothly so far and perfect. So it's actually given us a link right here so if we go full screen it's given us a link right here go to the final thing which is google sheets we want to update a row so update a row make sure you've connected the right one let's just use this one um search method you can just uh leave that as that i think i don't think you need to click on that obviously select the worksheet so the uh, spreadsheet so if we go down it's this one about the world's best uh, tracking hub. We want to add the sheet name as follow-ups. The row we can put as, if we go down here, this is how you find row number. So row number. And then you wanna basically map it. So if we go to unique follow-up here, we can basically put this share link right here and then click okay. So now if we quickly run this to show you how this works, Let's actually get a, um, let's get a different, in let's get Alex or Mosey. Why not? <laughs> Why not Alex or Mosey? Let's take his username. Let's go into here. Let's delete this. Obviously delete this because you can't put two links there. So upload that. Um, we may need to, let's really save this. So I think um, if we actually... Perfect, so we've saved that. Let's actually delete this quickly because sometimes it doesn't update. And then let's just uh, go for 
watch new rows. Um, you can actually put your specific ID here or just leave it as all. I would leave it as all, um, but in this case, we're just doing Hormozy. So let's um, let's just go down to the the bottom and just choose Hormozy. Perfect, so let's run this. And obviously if you click all, like what I showed you there, and just leave this as like um, every 15 minutes, it will do this every 15 minutes and put a new Google Drive link for whenever your uh, setter or you puts a interested lead in this Google Sheets, right? So if we, um, if we run this automation run, see what it does. Hopefully it works. Um, and yeah, let's see. So this should put the link perfect. So it's given us a link and there should be Hormozy, a personalized voice note to Hormozy and you can prompt it. So it could, it's more of a follow up. So let's see. Hey Alex, noticed your entrepreneurial journey and your book, a hundred firms and leads. And I love to connect with like-minded entrepreneurs. Would love to help you scale this at my free workshop this weekend. Let me know if you're down for it. Yeah, as I said, every 15 minutes, um, it can do this or maybe once a day, it can just look at everything and then just add new rows for every time you, you upload a new thing here. So with a personalized voice note. Um, so hopefully that has explained the first part of the follow-ups um, for the sales tracking sheet. Um, this is a really good one as well because this allows you to identify any bottlenecks in your business. Like this is going to be crazy because how this works is you place how many calls you have for the day. So let's just say you have five calls a day, right? And this is like on a monthly basis. And let's say three people show up a day. And let's say, I mean, let's just keep it as this to keep it simple. What we can do is we can drag this all the way down. So let's just say five people booked a day every day for the month. I mean, that, that would never happen like that consistently. But what you can do is you can essentially, so if that is on the four, what we can do is we can do three times um, 29 because that's how many frees we have here in, in, in this month. So if we go onto a calculator, so let's quickly uh, go into a calculator, three times 29, that equals 87. And then we booked five calls a day. So we would do five times 29 equals that. So now if we do 89, so if we do 89 divided by 145 and then times 100, that gives us the Sherp rate as 61% for the month, assuming that we can have these metrics. But obviously you'd fill this out as you go. I'm just demonstrating how you calculate Sherp rate. And the reason you want to calculate offer present rate is because each one of these metrics shows us a different thing about sales. So for example, if you're booking calls, but the Sherp rate is normal, 60% is pretty good. Then let's say the offer present rate is like one. So out of five calls or three people that show up, you present your offer to one people. I mean, you can calculate that as like what, 33%. Um, you don't need a calculator to do that math. Um, so out of the qualified show up, you only, you only get 33% of them to actually you pitch your offer to. So that shows us that the lead quality is really bad. So each one of these metrics shows us a different thing. So hopefully that makes sense. And this allows you to identify bottlenecks in the sales process super easy. Um, and then for cash collected, you'd put how many cash, uh, how much money you make for the day. And then what you'd be able to do is on a monthly basis or even a weekly basis, you can actually calculate how much money you make per call because you'd filter out the sharp rate. You'd then filter out the offer present rate and then figure out how much cash you collect per X amount of show ups. And then from that point on, you can, you now know how much you can actually spend to get appointments on your calendar, which is a really important thing you should be doing. If you want this tracking sheet, it will be in the description, the first, li uh, first link in the description. Yeah, I'm here to provide the best free content on YouTube. And if you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. Um, check out my school community. It is amazing. Like, if you think this was valuable, just hop in. Like, you're going to love it. it it'll be the best decision you'll probably make this year. I'm not even joking. Um, so, yeah, catch you in the next video.